In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add text to your iMovie project on your iPhone or iPad, and I'm not even going to waste your guys' time. Let's just jump right into this tutorial. All right, so here I am in iMovie. I'm actually using my iPad so I can have a mouse hooked up so you can see what I'm clicking on. But all you're going to do is click on your video, and you're going to click on Titles, which is going to open up some of the text effects that you can use. Uh, so, for example, I could do this split one, and I can click on the text and click Edit and be able to add my text here. Once I'm done here, I can actually click and move this anywhere I want on the screen. Uh, I can resize it by pinching with my fingers or shrinking it down smaller, uh, like if I wanted to put it in the corner here, like so. And then I can also click on this. And I can change the color of my text. So if I wanted it, let's say green, there we go. Now my text is green. I can actually go through all of these and add these different effects. Now that's not all the text you can add because if you actually go over to settings, what you can do is you could change the theme of your project. So for example, if I click this news theme, that's actually going to affect some of the text effects that I can actually add to my video. So now if I actually go to the far right side here, there is a news reporter text because we clicked on news as our theme. And what we can even do further is click on options here, choose the style. So we could do either a middle style for this effect, an opening style, which does this news effect, or a closing style, which does it on this side. And if you go through all of these different themes here in the settings, there's a whole bunch of other cool text effects like neon, uh, playful, bright, you know, just black, etc. So be sure to go through the theme settings here when adding your text, and you get a lot more options than just the basic ones here uh, on this line. Now, one final tip that's really important with adding text is you'll notice when I add this text, it stays on the video the entire clip. So if you have a four minute video, the text will stay on there for four minutes. It's crazy. And who wants text on their video for four minutes? So what you can do is find the spot where you want the text to fade out. And then when you do, let's say we just want it for a few seconds. What I can do is line my video up like so, click on the video, and then what I'm going to do is go to the actions and I'm going to split the video in half. And what that's going to do is only part of the video now is going to have a text and then it switches over to another clip, which there won't be any lag in between your clips. There's no transition there. So now the text effect isn't going on for four minutes. It's only going on for as long as I have up to the point where I split the clip in half and then it'll fade off by itself. So that way, if you want to add more text later on, like maybe I want more text right in the middle here, what I can do then is I can click on the video, click split where I want to add the text, scroll ahead to where I want it to stop, I can click split again, and then just for this part of the video, I could add text so it fades on and fades off. Now, if you want to learn more about iMovie on your iPhone or iPad, I have two videos that I'll link to over here. One is the basic iMovie tutorial and also an advanced editing tips within iMovie, like things on how to add a subscribe button, how to do green screen effects, uh, how to add your social media logos onto your screen, etc. That's in the advanced editing tips, but be sure to watch both if you're still new to iMovie. And thanks for watching this quick video.